Hey guys, S2W here with your W Overview, your weekly update to the top headline sneaker releases for the next 7 days. Going into the second week of December, a few popular sneakers are going to release. Feel free to hit up in the comment section and let me know if there's any upcoming sneakers that are a must cop for you this coming week. Let's take a look at what's dropping between December 6th to the 12th of 2020. On the 8th, the Air Jordan 1 High J Balvin is releasing for a retail price of 190 US dollars at retail. This sneaker is a collaboration between the Jordan brand and Colombian singer J Balvin who now has become the first Latino artist to do a collab with the brand. This sneaker was first seen when the artist himself wore it during his Super Bowl performance with Shakira and J Lo earlier this year. Featuring a tie-dye colorway with vibrant colors, this sneaker is literally rainbow colored constructed with a canvas upper. Jagged outlines around the edges of each panel, coupled with an extended rounded collar and an exposed foam tongue, makes this sneaker extra unique than regular releases. The release comes with a few extra patches as well, allowing you to velcro it on the lateral heel for customizable options. The tongue patch also has the Jumpman branding, as well as J Balvin's smiley face logo too. If you like vibrant shoes, this one is it. On the 9th, the Nike Dunk High Varsity Maze is releasing for 120 US dollars at retail. This colorway is a retro of a 2012 colorway, featuring a black leather underlay with yellow tumbled leather overlays. The swoosh is also yellow in color, as well as the flat nylon laces that these come with. And we will also see the classic midsole, which is a white rubber cupsole on top of a durable yellow colored rubber outsole. Not a bad colorway at all in my opinion, but not something that I would particularly go for. Honestly, the Dunk silhouette has been a hot item this whole year, and the high top variations are the next to come up for the brand. Release date again is on the 9th, so enter as many raffles as you can if you're interested. On the 10th, the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebra is making a restock yet again for 220 US dollars at retail. I already lost count of how many times these came back and also always sells out. However, according to Yeezy Mafia at least, these are only restocking in Europe. Anyways, it's called the Zebras for a reason because of its upper colorway and pattern, resembling the black and white stripes of a zebra. The lateral side of the Yeezy will see a white stripe slashing across it, while the OG SPLY-350 text embroidered look, with the OG SPLY-350 text embroidered look. We will also see a black dotted heel tap and a white ribbed midsole sheltering the full length boost cushioning on the inside. At this point, you should already have a pair in your collection since they keep restocking over the years, but if you still haven't yet, Europe retailers are apparently getting them. On the 11th, the Adidas Yeezy Boost 380 is coming out in 3 different colorways, the Hilt Glow, Azure, and Lamnet for 230 US dollars at retail each. Yeezy Mafia said these 3 will release as regional exclusives, and apparently North America will get the Hilt Glow, featuring PrimeNet uppers that will glow in the dark. When it isn't, the upper is yellow and brown in color, finished with a volt yellow lateral stripe. The Azure colorway will drop in Europe, featuring a burgundy and brown shading with a blue lateral stripe on the side. While Africa and Asia Pacific regions will get the laminate, featuring earthy brown shades with a volt green stripe. All three will feature a thick boost cushioning underneath, as well as a stretchy collar for a sock-like fit. On the 12th, it seems like the reflective variations will also drop according to Yeezy Mafia as well, so if you want an even fancier look, the 3M shiny reflective versions are dropping a day later. On the 11th as well, the Adidas Ultra Boost 4D 5.0 by Sneakers and Stuff is releasing for 250 US dollars at retail. This shoe is named as Tea Time, playing with the same name that they had and labeling itself as a successor to their first Ultra Boost collab. This release will feature the Ultra Boost 1.0 Prime Net Upper, the most popular look of the Ultra Boost that came out with the arrowhead design on the toe box. We will see a mint green upper with black accents on it, as well as a black mesh collar and heel tab at the back. The three stripe side panel is made out of leather for this release, coupled with black colored flat laces and co branded tongue patches and insoles. The midsole is made out of their latest tech called 4D midsole, which is 3D printed. The look seems like it's the same as earlier 4D plates, which should be softer right out of the box than the more recent 4Ds. Currently, it's only a sneakers and stuff exclusive as well, which they are doing a raffle on. So make sure you sign up on their app if you're interested. Lastly, on the 12th, the Air Jordan 11 Jubilee will release for 220 US dollars at retail. This is a sneaker made to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the silhouette, inspired by the original sketches of the model itself. Constructed with a mesh underlay with a patent leather mudguard, the sneaker will see a metallic silver Jumpman logo at the lateral heel, Jumpman text branding over at the eyelets, 
as well as a silver number 23 at the heel to commemorate Jordan's jersey number. The insole will see the number 25, which marks the 25th birthday of the model, with all the other classics such as bro places, full midsole, and a rubber outsole that's translucent. This is an iconic silhouette with an easy colorway to rock, so I would say these will sell out like hotcakes. Anyways, that concludes this week of W Overview. Like always, if this video has informed you about a new drop that's coming out soon, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments which headline sneaker are you looking forward to most to own or anything that I've missed. I'll see you guys in the next W Overview.